We're going to tie this pattern that I've just been calling the partridge and olive. For starters, we're going to use an emerger style hook and some olive vivas thread. This one is in 14 aught. We'll start our thread wraps with a bit of room to spare for the head of the fly. Grab some brassy wire. This is in chartreuse. We'll secure the wire to the hook, wrapping well beyond the bend of the hook. Move the wire out of the way and we can use our thread to start building up a body transition. A great way to do this is to go up to the head of the fly and then wrap your weight back down till you almost reach where you started and continue this process until you reach the head of the fly once again. This is a simple way to create a nice transition to the head of our fly. After that, we'll grab our wire and start wrapping it in open spirals till we reach our thread. At which point we can secure our wire, taking wraps both in front as well as behind the wire and helicopter it free. We'll wrap back just a little bit, grab some olive dubbing. This in particular is a synthetic dubbing with a little bit of UV in it, but of course you can use whatever dubbing you choose. I like to take my brush and give this a buggy look by brushing it out thoroughly, pulling any fibers that are a little too much. After that, we'll move our thread to the head of our fly, giving ourselves a base for this next step. We'll grab a partridge feather and we want to measure the strands to be just a little bit longer than the hook itself. Once we've done that, we can pull the fibers back, leaving ourselves a small little triangle. We will snip that off further and use this piece to adhere it to the head of our fly. Once that feather is secure, we can brush our fibers backwards and then start to hackle around the fly. You can use your fingers, or if your feather is short, you can use a pair of hackle pliers. Once we're happy with that, we will secure it in place and snip the end free. Once we've done this, we'll take our thread and bring it back onto the hackle fibers a little bit. And this will just prevent them from standing up straight and kind of give them a brushed back look. With that complete, we can whip finish in the process building up a nice head. I like to make a cone shape for this particular pattern. Seat the knot and snip it free. And if you have any fibers near the head, the simplest thing I've found to do is grab a lighter and simply burn them off. Just make sure you cover up any delicate parts of the fly and only move your lighter close enough to singe the fibers you want. We'll grab some UV resin and paint that over our head. And this will create a nice smooth head section of our fly. You can pull off any fibers that you don't like. This one in particular was a little long and that is the finished product. Soft hackles offer incredible movement in the water and are really underutilized by many people. I'd highly suggest giving it a try. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you go down below, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will catch you in the next video.